mean, inside, inside the cockpit, we've got so many positions, so many dials and switches. And I've got to be completely honest with you, I've been driving the car for three years now and I don't even know what all of them do. Lights, fuel pumps, starters. We can change over to spares, like a spare crank trigger. We can switch over to a spare starter, a spare fuel pump. Well, all the uh, buttons and switches in the dash, I mean, basically, it's, uh, a lot of it's communication between driver and pit. A lot of it is um, functionality for the driver, changing gear, talking on the radio, uh, the, the pit lane speed button, um, alarm reset, uh, fuel reset. Yeah, we've, we've probably got a few more buttons and dials than we should. A lot of switches on this car. <laughs> we, do, we do our fuel calibrations there, we do our ignition, our fuel pumps. Everything has a switch so that you can turn it off or on pretty much and that's why it's got a big panel in it. But you've got all the rudimentary stuff, you've got headlights. Uh, the rules say that we have to have turn signals, so we've got a, a switch for turn indicators. Um, but then they can control a lot of the um, you know, creature comforts. They've got their drink bottle button, they've got air conditioning. Because of its closed cockpit, by the rules, we have to run air conditioning. There's enough dials and switches in there to, to, keep, us, to keep us going. And when you're driving at you know, close, close to 200 miles an hour, um, when you're trying to sort of play around with switches and dials, it makes it quite interesting, especially at night time. We try and get them into sort of uh, logical groups, but um, the map switches, which are appertaining to the engine, there's we have a, a, a map switch for the engine, we have a, a, a map switch for the turbo basically which um, reduces lag called ALS, anti-lag system, and then we have um, traction control and each one has a rotary knob with 12 positions on it and three of those take up quite a bit of room as well so they're nestling in amongst all the switches for uh, you know, ignition and starter button and wipers and all that stuff. On the wheel we have uh, adjustments that they can do easily with their fingers, um, map switches for engine power, steering. We have a uh, race page and a warm-up page that displays different information. You can scroll through that. We can put up anything you want to know on that, tire pressures, oil pressure. You have to know where every single switch is on that board because you never know what's going to happen. You know, I mean, you could be driving along and an alarm goes off. You've got to kind of be able to quickly identify that alarm and let's assume you don't have radio contact. You have to know what to do with the switch protocol to get, get the car back to the pits or else you're stranded out there. Pretty much as a driver, there's, there's certain, certain dials that we're, we're using all the time. Those being the, the engine map uh, dial and, and also traction control. Uh, and they're all like multifunction switches. So you know, during the race, we'll be running different engine maps. Maybe one uh, runs a little bit leaner, which means it's using less fuel, but it also gives you less, uh, less horsepower. Um, and then, then you've got sort of map one, which is full qualifying, full attack, full rich, full everything. And um, certainly as a driver, that's, that's the map that we like to be driving on, because it's, it's always the quickest one. It's psychological as well. If you tell the driver to go to map one, the engine goes to map one, then his brain goes to map one. I'm sure it's, it's an interrelated thing, you know. Um, and then uh, during the race, we have the uh, traction control dial, which again, gives us more, more traction or less traction, depending on how the tyres are, how the circuit is. And we can make adjustments during the, during the course of the stint. Um, depending on what the grip level is like. So there's, there's various things that we can do inside the car uh, during the course of a race. The switches are, are an interesting thing. I, what I find is that the best thing that, that you can do is just spend very quiet moments sitting in the car and you know during testing, if you're just stationary, to just look. I, I look over and I just study the switch panel. And I try to think, if it's nighttime, I try to close my eyes and, and pull certain switches, push certain buttons, you know, use the steering wheel tools brake balance, try to basically make it essentially like it's your desk and uh, you know it's a high-speed desk but you still got to know where everything is. There's no ejection seat button. <laughs> <laughs>